Hi everybody, this is Felicia and I'm here today with a layout for the Wild Whispers designs. Look at that beautiful paper. Look at those little snowflakes. I just thought I'd freeze that so you can get a close-up look of that. And I'm going to be using that. And here's the other side, which is also beautiful. I love that. But I'm going to be using this side here. And um, this is the best collection, actually, the design-wise, I would say. Um, I'm, I don't do Christmas, but I love how... Look at this. See, I'm pointing to all of this detail here. I just love how they made these. I mean, <laughs> I think they're really nice. Um, so what I have is a little special something there. As you can see that close up there. I die cut it all those little coffee cups. And as, if anybody has known me and been watching my videos, you know I love this time of the year because my favorite coffee drink, which is the eggnog latte. That is my favorite drink, and I usually get it um, at Starbucks. But I also found a new place that also does it, and it's called Pete's Coffee. And if you have one of those, they make a good eggnog latte as well. So now I have two places where I can get the eggnog latte. <laughs> um, so anyway, so my daughter and I, there's a picture of us there both sipping the first eggnog latte of the year, but that was from last year. This year, we got the eggnog latte again, but I only took a picture of myself because she wasn't around when I went to go get the first one of the year. And um, I really, really love that drink. So anyway, so that's the photo. And I wanted it to look like a Polaroid. So when I printed it, I printed it really small and I left the white edge there so that it can look like a Polaroid. I thought that would be cool. So I already pre-cut these circles, as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and start gluing those down and getting them stuck to this beautiful paper. I did not want to cover this paper up. It is so pretty and it's so smooth. You saw me in the beginning of the video kind of smoothing it with my hands because I just love the way these papers feel. So um, what I'm doing is I just going to go ahead and, and get these circles uh, glued down and then get that photo and that photo is going to kind of go on an angle and i'm going to put all these little coffee cups behind beside it because it is starting to get cold finally here in good old sacramento <laughs> and it really surprised us on the temperature change because it was just last week when the last time we had um 89 and 91 last week and now this week it's going down to like 65 and 62 and 57 and it's going to get lower and lower as the months go by until it gets freezing cold again like it did last year so so here i am using all these little things that i cut out i like i said i used a die for the coffee cup and I just, I cannot express how much I love these papers. And I thought this would be a good, you know, photo to go with these papers because um, Wild Whispers has the, the most wonderful papers ever. Um, and um, I encourage you to check them out because they are very, very good quality. And I love all of the um, elements and things that or the die cut, not die cuts, I'm sorry, elements and things that come with it, such as the sequences, the three by four cards, the four by six cards, and things like that. So, and if you look over to the right, if you're facing this video, you'll see some of the uh, wood veneer that I have also from uh, one of the older kits of Wild Whispers. And I decided to go ahead and mix that in here with the newest collection here that we have, which is called, um, and I'm sorry, I didn't even say what this collection was all. <laughs> Anyway, this collection is called, it's called uh, Home for the Holidays, and I apologize for not naming what this collection was at the beginning of the video. Um, sorry about that. So I am using my little tiny little, oh my gosh, I just love this little die cutter machine. It is the perfect size to travel with, and it's light and everything, and it's my new Spellbinders uh, prism. I forgot to tell you guys that I did get that. I was at the uh, the Scrapbook Expo, and I got um, paper, that, and those little tiny, tiny, tiny Tim Holtz uh, scissors. Oh my gosh, they are so cool. So I have the Big Brother, the, I should say, let's see, there's three of those scissors from Tim Holtz, so I got three uh, different sizes, but um, I got that paper, um, the new Thickers Guides, the Circle Guides. And I was so looking forward to 
<laughs> to using it to show you how I use it on this video and to put the title on because I'm going to put it up around the circle and I totally forgot to put the title on but you're going to see the title at the end and I'm so bummed because I wanted to show you on the video how to use that and everything like that but it's okay I got the title on that's what counts so I'm using some of these sequins and those are also from the Wild Whisper Designs and those are so pretty and I forgot what they were called so I'll, you'll probably look on the screen I'll have the name of those up there um, but I go, went ahead and sprinkled those around and I have the coffee cups down there and I'm gonna put all these little wood veneer um, okay so I don't know exactly what you would call them I think they would be like maybe leaf sprigs or something like that uh, um, not leaf sprigs okay I have it it's like right on the tips of my tongue like foliage 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 something like that um, ferns there you go boom okay sorry about that anyway so I thought I'd go ahead and put those on and um, those are like I said from um, an early on collection but they fit perfectly here on the layout because I didn't get a chance to use them I had misplaced them when I had gotten them and completely forgot to use them and so when I finally found them which they were jammed behind some paper uh, that I had in a drawer because I keep all my design teen stuff in one spot. I just totally did not see those there. So anyway, so um, we are about done with this layout here. And I don't want you to watch me glue every last one of these sequences down. Um, I didn't win in the first place, but what ends up happening is that you do see me glue the majority of them down. And I realized that <laughs> at the last minute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how funny. But anyway, um, make sure you stop by the Wild Whispers Designs shop because they still have a lot of this stuff, the collections left. And make sure you get yours and you guys have a great and wonderful scrappy week. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>